Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech New Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at a super simple yet clever method to protect your walls from moisture using anti-moisture rods. Let's dive in. By inserting these white rods into the wall, you can prevent the wall from getting damp. But how does it work? Well, it functions similarly to the method we talked about before, where metal plates are used to stop moisture from rising. However, these rods make the process much easier. These rods are called anti-moisture rods, and their main job is to stop underground water vapor from seeping up into the walls. This prevents issues like mold, peeling paint, and moisture damage. First, you locate the brick seams at the bottom of the wall. If the seams are covered by paint or plaster, scrape that away. Then, using a drill, make a row of small holes along the seam, spacing them no more than 10 centimeters apart. Next, insert the anti-moisture rods into the holes. Once inside, these rods release a waterproofing agent that spreads around the brick, creating a barrier that stops moisture from rising. Previously, we discussed inserting steel plates into the seams, but some people worry this could cause issues like wall separation or movement during an earthquake. Anti-moisture rods, however, avoid this risk entirely. Another method involves using superabsorbent capillary rods. These rods are inserted into the drilled holes, and then a funnel-shaped device is placed on top. The funnel is filled with a red liquid mixture of water, salt, and synthetic resin. Over time, the liquid seeps into the rods and creates a protective barrier, blocking moisture from traveling through the wall. Both methods create a solid barrier to stop underground water vapor from rising and damaging your walls. Which method do you think is better? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of Tech New Tips. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cool tech insights. See you next time.